here we have another box this time is from patriot or viper it's the same branding but let's have a look at what's inside so of course some uh, packaging to protect it we have a mask because during this period it's pretty useful viper gaming by patriot Social distancing, stay home gaming, that's what I'm gonna do, <laughs> my patro style. But here we have the main thing, but not yet. Let's have a look at what's inside the box. This is the, um, some paper. And here we have a message from Hiba on uh, uh, Viper. Hi Pietro, uh, thank again for getting in touch and thinking of us for a collaboration. As discussed, please find the clothes of our latest Viper Steel RGB. That's the product we're going to review and have a closer look today. All the best and stay safe, Hiba. Thank you so much, Hiba. Um, as you've written, this is a collaboration, so I'm not paid for anything. They sent me the Viper Steel RGB. Sixteen gigs um, at thirty six hundred megahertz. Uh, this two module configuration has a lifetime warranty, which is really nice, especially for a product such as the RAM, which you're not gonna really upgrade that often. Often, you're either gonna add maybe a stick or two in the time, but this is a piece of tech that needs to last. Uh, enough talking, let's open it up. As said before, this is 3600 megahertz. It has five RGB for each module. What's that? Ooh, a sticker, nice. Uh, it's compatible with most of the RGB software for uh, mobiles, so the, it's compatible with the ASRock software, which I'm going to use. It's compatible with ASUS, with uh, MSI Gigabyte, and here we go. Let's pop them off. It has an aluminium um, heat sink, as you might expect from every kind of module. Five on uh, RGB points. It has the Viper logo on this side and on the other, but this is it. Let's take the other one. And let's skip forward to how they look and what's the software like. It is gonna be a second for you. It is gonna be at least one hour for me, but let's get it. Let's now talk about the performances and the RGBs of this puppy right here. So let's start with the less important thing, which is the performance. <laughs> Of course, I'm joking. The RGB managing. Right now, I'm using the B460 Steel Legend from ASRock and the Polychrome RGB software is still kind of raw. It's pretty garbage right now. But I've seen in just a couple of weeks, three different updates. Uh, the first version that I've installed wasn't able to even recognize the RAM, but the second one was able to recognize it and I could change some settings, but the lighting mod the modalities were few. And the third update was still not perfect, but like you have more options for the RGB managing, and that's nice. But I don't recommend installing this software because the default setting for the RAM like if you plug when you plug it in the PC it just has this really nice wave effect uh, it changes color like in a wave pattern which is nice you're you're going to see it and just at the end of the video but let's now talk about performances um, I've been using this for as I said like a couple of weeks as of today and 
During the installation, all 16 gigs were recognized instantly. The frequency 3600 megahertz uh, recognized instantly also. You were also able to overclock them with the XL R2.0 but I'm gonna make a dedicated video for the overclocking of the overall system so stay tuned subscribe and activate the bell icon for that which is coming soon and even in heavy loads such as video editing I record in 1080p 3fps so not the heaviest load but like still pretty heavy in rendering the video uh, it's very important the quality of the RAM because it uses a ton like 14 gigs stacked easily 10 to 14 gigs but I had no problem whatsoever in gaming it's just perfect also the look as I said just like the wave effect the by default it's really nice the overall war <laughs> The overall look great. I really hope that Azurac and Viper will work together to smoothen up the software. But as for the rest, really recommend it. <laughs>